In my last video, you saw how I met this gorgeous Bay Roan weanling filly at an auction. I could not contain my excitement and I was so nervous when she came into the auction ring, but I took the risk and I bid on her and I won. I was so excited when I won the bid, I couldn't even contain myself. We've been waiting for the right weanling and we finally found the one. I know that she's gonna be rewarding and challenging at the same time, but I couldn't be more excited to take her home. Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. Oh my goodness, what an adventure that was at the auction and purchasing the Bay Roan filly. I am still so awestruck by the entire situation. I don't even know what to do with myself. I have been spending so much time with her over the last 24 hours and she is doing so well. So in today's video, I am gonna show you her arrival at Free Spirit Farm and also show you what I've been doing with her over the last 24 hours and talk a little bit about our future. Plus, I will be doing her name reveal at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Okay, so right off the bat, a few things I wanna talk about. So we are doing construction on the X interior of the barn. So the inside is not affected, but it is a little bit of a mess because the guys are walking in and out. They have mud and concrete on their boots and we have to do all the bottom boards in the barn. So some of the mats are torn up, but luckily I still have two stalls. The good news is she's gonna be in the barn by herself for quarantine and none of the other horses are gonna be in the barn either. Plus we're doing a huge cleanup once construction is done. So I may move her to an outside pen when it becomes available, but for now she's just gonna be in the stall for at least two weeks. Now, of course, horse. I do not like that. Obviously, I hate stalling horses, but this is a completely unique and different situation. Number one, I need to keep my horses safe. Number two, I need to keep her safe because she's unhandled. And number three, this is going to give me a really great opportunity to work with her and build a bond. And then she will meet Belle and Ezzy shortly after that. So we just have to be patient and do what's best for everyone all around. Now, luckily, when she had to cross the border from Canada into the United States to Michigan, she had to undergo a health and inspection and all the foals look pretty healthy. I didn't see any like coughing, sneezing, running noses. I saw a little bit of eye boogers, but that's something that we can easily take care of if it's a problem. The thing is, I'm not going to be able to really groom and clean her eyes and all of that until she gets more comfortable being handled. In other words, it makes me feel better that they had to go through some type of health screening and they weren't around any other horses. I mean, they came from their ranch from Canada down to the auction and there weren't really any other auction horses. And if they were, they were in a separate barn and none of the horses look sick there, but I need to obviously do my due diligence and be careful and also give her time to settle. I think this will be good just to let her settle in, get used to me and everything going on. I also want to address that these are not PMU full. So a lot of people had talked about that. Essentially what it is, is that the mare's urine is used for premarin, which is a drug. So I just recommend looking that up. I will put the link in the description just to educate you, but these are not PMU foals. The guys were there from the ranch selling them. They answered a lot of questions. They helped load all the foals. They were there the entire time. And a lot of people had asked, are these PMU foals? Because people wanted to know and they are not. So I just wanted to clarify that. All right, now it's time to show you the last 24 hours with our beautiful new Bay Roan filly. Let's go. Come on, baby. Come on, honey girl. Come on, honey girl. It's been very stressful for you. Come on, honey. We got some hay in here. Cluck a little bit. Good girl. You're safe here. That's a big step for you. Come on, honey. You're safe here. Cluck a little more. Good girl. Good girl! Okay, look at you! Don't let her, yeah, I'm just... Go in that little stall there. Good girl! Good girl, look at that! Look at that! Oh, so happy! Oh, look at your hay. Oh, that's nice. Isn't it? 
There's your water. Oh, good girl drinking. Good girl drinking. Good job. You're so good. She walked off the trailer so confidently, went right into the stall, ate and drank. She's very curious and checking everything out, which are all really, really good signs. I'm also really happy that she immediately drank water. I was a little worried about that, but she did it right away. Just sitting in the stall, relaxing with her. She's honestly doing so well. Right when she got here, she immediately ate and drank. She pooped, peed, laid down, took a nap. She's up eating, very quiet, has only whinnied literally once. Like, what a sweet girl. And I'm just sitting in here. I'm not going to do anything. I just want to be present because she's already had enough stress. And I'm just going to sit here for a couple minutes and just hang out so she gets some, like, positive, calm reinforcement. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Just some thoughts I'm having. So it's just crazy to me how horses have no control over their destiny. And it's just wild that this filly was just in Canada and now she's literally in my stall. Like it, it's just so wild to me if you really stop and think about it. But I'm so incredibly happy that she's here at Free Spirit Farm because I can give her the opportunity to feel comfortable with people and give her a foundation and truly bond with her and work with her and give her everything she needs. I wanna talk a little bit about why I picked her. I thought that she was gonna be a little bit more of a challenge, not in like a bad way. I just knew that I had to earn my trust with her. Like it's not gonna be instant. The other filly was stunning and I just knew she was gonna be good wherever she went because her personality is fantastic. And this filly's personality is also fantastic, but you gotta earn it with her. And that's what I really wanted to take on. And Kyle honestly was super obsessed with her. This was his first pick out of the foals there today. Um, so I just had to get her, you know what I mean? It's gonna be awesome. And she is gonna be so happy once she's out with Ezzie and Belle. What do you think? You good girl? She's curious, which is awesome because that shows that she's, you know, very smart and she's so kind. Like there's no nastiness. It's just, she's unsure. I mean, what the heck? Her world has been just completely turned upside down. And I totally sympathize with that. You know, I'm sympathetic to how she's feeling. I mean, I honestly, I can't believe how calm she is considering all of that. And that's what Kyle kept saying. He's like, she has such a good head on her shoulders. Like, I know she's a little weary. That's what he was saying. But she's special and when i looked at the catalog she i just i just knew something was special about her and she's the one that i picked out too but it's hard i honestly i wish i could have gotten them both i wish i could have gotten all of them i you know what i mean but she is gonna be so worth it I, i'm just so excited for our journey and then ezzy too it's like double and ezzy's situation is different because she was born right on the farm so i was able to gentle her and bond with her literally right away where this filly has had four months without being handled really so it's going to be cool to earn her trust it's it's a different type of you know approach good morning sweet girl how are you what do you think got some shaving What do you think of that shoe? What do you think of that shoe? You a good girl? It's been a couple hours since she arrived and I just want to sit in the stall with her, let her approach me, not literally do anything, not reach for her, nothing. Just let her come up to me when she wants to and be present. Good girl. That was good. That was really good. Notice how she released her energy. She licked and chewed, moved her jaw and her tongue. Those are excellent signs of pushing the stress out. Good girl. 
Like I said, I'm just hanging out with her and talking gently so she gets used to my voice. That's my coffee. Don't take my straw. Don't take my straw. Good girl. That was good. Good girl. Nice job. Oopsies. There you go. So with her, you cannot just go up and touch her. I've been working on petting her shoulder for a while now and just feeding her some hay and just hanging out with her. But if I just walk in and went to go touch her neck or face, like she would bite for sure. And sometimes if you just go to touch her, she will kind of step towards you or nip. So that's why I'm using my stick to just desensitize her to touch a little bit and then move my arm in place of the stick. And I'm just very gentle and I think that's the safe way to do it. That way I'm extending the stick and I'm not in a kick or bite range. And she's doing really great with that. She is going to be a lot of work. I mean, she's a huge project and it's not going to be easy, but it is going to be worth it. It's just incredible to gain a horse's trust or any animal in general. There's just something so therapeutic about it. It's honestly indescribable. Now I'm working on touching her other side a little bit. Honestly, within the last 24 hours, she's already made so much progress. Like, look at her. I can't believe it. She's incredible. Now I'm also able to touch more of her backside with the stick and her leg. So that's huge too. This sweet girl, my heart honestly just aches for her with what she's gone through. Like, no wonder she's defensive. I mean, nothing is her fault. Like, she honestly is being so amazing considering all variables. Now I'm going to clean her stall and you can just sit back and watch the process.
So I've been sitting my butt in this chair, so you can kind of see here, and just hanging out with her for long periods of time, multiple times throughout the day, and just hanging out. What are you doing? You wanna eat it? You know, I'm gonna go get you a ball. Look how curious. Look how curious you are. <laughs> You're goofy. Can I sit in my chair? Don't bite me. Good girl. Don't bite my shoe. Don't bite me. <laughs> She's like, but I wanna put everything in my mouth cause I'm a baby. Shoes. Oh my gosh, I just realized I need to figure out her color too. What's her color gonna be? Look, shoe, touch. Good girl, touch. Good girl, touch. Good girl, touch. Good girl. Don't eat me though. You can't bite my shoe. My foot's in there. It is. Touch. Good girl, touch. <laughs> Good girl. I love her build though. Look at her hip. She's put together really well. Got nice solid bone, very, very minimal feathering. Gorgeous head. Just love her. <laughs> I know. I want you out of here so bad soon, okay? This is very temporary. I hate this. I hate it. Touch. Good girl. <laughs> You're so silly. Good girl, good job. The lighting is so bad in here because we don't have electric with the construction going on. Yeah, everything is just crazy around here right now, but you know what? I'm not gonna let that stop me. So sorry about the lighting in some of the videos and I would just go in the stall to do her name reveal. Are you coming over here for your name reveal? Oh, look at you. You're such a good girl. Okay, horse lovers. So I kind of already knew what I was going to name her when I first saw her, but I wanted to give it a little bit of time before I just blurted it out to make sure it stuck. And are you ready? So Kyle and I decided to name our beautiful Bay Roan filly Ariel from The Little Mermaid, of course. Now, I love this because Ariel obviously has red hair and of course she has some red hues. I know she's a Bay Roan, but she has red hair, right? and because she's an adventurous spirit and a little bit of a rebel. So I just thought it was so fitting and perfect. So everyone, you can officially welcome Ariel to Free Spirit Equestrian. We're so happy to have her here and she's making such good progress in a very short amount of time. When I first saw her, I just kind of knew she was the one and Kyle was very drawn to her as well. And it's not just color. I just feel like she needed me more, where the other one I knew in life she'd probably, obviously I don't know for sure, but with that personality, she's gonna be okay. This girl, I could have seen her being, I mean, potentially neglected, abused, like I don't know, but you get what I'm saying? The tougher horses sometimes end up in worse situations. And she's just so beautiful with so much potential and I wanna earn it and it's gonna make me a better trainer in the long run. I didn't wanna just take the easy route because I was equally drawn to both of them, but a little more interested in her. And you know what? I just wanna be happy with the fact that we got one horse. You know, we got one foal that's gonna get a good start in life and have a great opportunity. And I'm gonna bust my butt spending the time with her. Like I've been sitting in there for hours on end. I come out multiple times a day. I am working so hard and then plus I'm working with Belle and Ezzy and Mushu and all my other horses. Like I have to give everybody attention and I work really hard to be able to do that. And I just think it's gonna be a super special, unique situation with her. I've never had a completely unhandled foal before. Um, I've had a lot of really tough project horses, but they were handled. So obviously she's not a Mustang, but I kind of feel like it's like, you know, she's totally unhandled. So it'll be good to work with her because she's a baby. And then maybe I'll get a Mustang, you know, 
sometime soon too, like in the next year or two. I have to get a round pen to do that. And I wish I had a round pen now because that would be way better, but we don't have a place to put it. Kyle won't let me put it in the yard, so <laughs> I have to wait. But um, anyways, yes, so I just wanted to take on a challenge and I'm not afraid of that. I'm not afraid of a challenge. And you know, in the comments, people are just like, oh, you should have got the other one. You connected with her, she was so sweet. And I did, I really did. And they're saying she's not interested. No, you know what? She's not just going to give it to you. You have to earn it with her. And that's what's amazing about it. It's going to be incredible because nothing's going to be handed to me. I have to put in that time and effort. And I think that is beautiful and so rewarding. And that's what I live for. I don't always want to take the easy route. And I know that literally 99.9% .9 of you are freaking amazing and supportive. And thank you. Thank you for being so excited for me and coming along in this journey and also showing your emotion. It means so much to me. What are we talking about? Look, she's so curious though. And that's the thing. I mean, she is just, she's going to be incredible. Hi, look at her personality come out. Hi, baby girl. She's like, why is she talking to like nobody? <laughs> in my last auction video, the one before I purchased Ariel, there were a few people like, oh, you just want like the easy horses or you just want to get a finished horse but not have to pay for it. I just want to address that. And I know that most of you literally understand what I do. But first off, I had a past before YouTube, right? Like I've only been doing YouTube for literally two years and I've worked with a lot of horses before that. I had purchased some pretty hardcore rescue horses, horses that were like middle age that have never been ridden before. Like I do not always take the easy route. Okay. And also I am willing to pay. It's not that my budget is low per se. It's that I'm not going to overpay for a horse because I know what goes into it. It's blood, sweat, and tears because I'm going to auctions consistently and buying horses. I know what they go for and I know how much energy goes into each horse. So I set my budget for each individual horse, if that makes sense. And I want to say in an auction situation, you have to be even more picky and understanding of what you're taking on. But yeah, sometimes I do just want to go to an auction and get a horse that looks like a nice horse and that I don't have to put a lot of like foundational training on them. Sometimes that is the case and it just really depends on my situation. Like for example, if I was to buy another horse, it would not be like another huge project because obviously I have my hands full right now. Okay, horse lovers, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything Free Spirit Equestrian, any updates with Ariel or Bell and Ezzy and the other horses, and I'll see you next time. Bye.